to be had. Yes, yeah. you were married last weekend. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Right news. Got it. There it is. That's it. Seven million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I work really hard on that show. I understand. And I got to say, if you had a show, I would watch it every night. I do have a show every night. You're on it right now. And it's on every night? It is. Do you watch it? Uh-huh. Well, if you watch it, tell me one thing about it. Uh... Super great to be here hosting the season finale of SNL. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, before we begin, I should mention Justin Timberlake could not be here tonight. He's currently touring in Russia. <laughs> Just want to get that out of the way. But I do understand that he sent me a picture to wish me luck. Incredible. Yeah, I got ripped off. You're honeymooning here. Yeah. yeah, this is it. How romantic. Oh, yeah. How does it feel? It feels good. It was the uh, best day of my life. Mm -hmm. um, it's nice, you know, I, I finally lost my virginity, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> waited, waited 35 long years. Wow. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, How'd and that I, go? I was bad. I was really bad at it. I should have <laughs> practiced. <laughs> <laughs> 35 years is too long to wait. Yeah. Yeah. My turn. <clears throat> Seth. Yes, Andy. Seth, I'm sorry about that time I made you drive me to LaGuardia Airport, and then when we got there, I realized, oh, wait, I'm not going to LaGuardia. I'm going to JFK. <laughs> and then when we got to JFK, I realized, oh, wait, I'm not going to either of these places because where I really wanted to go was the bathroom, <laughs> which I did in your car. Anyway, man, I'm sorry for drenching your sweet ride. That was pretty gross. But also a little cool? No. <laughs> Agree to disagree. I'm working on a new show, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, for which I won two Golden Globes. Yes, won two Golden Globes for it, bringing new meaning to the phrase, and twins. <laughs> Thank you put on a suit to tell that joke. <laughs> uh, now, is this true? Uh, did, did Adam Sandler show up at your wedding? I invited Sandler to the wedding, and he did come, yeah. Um, I was, of course, very worried about it, because he's one of the biggest stars on Earth. And yeah. I was like, oh, if Sandler comes, everyone in our families is going to hound him, and I don't want him to feel put out. But I also really would love him to come, because we're friendly. Uh, and the night before, I, he told me, he was like, all right, I'll come. I'll be there. Don't worry about it. And the night before, I was. Uh, getting a drink at the night before party that we had, sort of a hangout uh -huh. with the families and stuff. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, I just uh, I hear Sandler's voice going like, "It is it, my guy right there." <laughs> and I I look up and he's dressed as his character from That's My Boy, which is really <laughs> with like the wig and a ponytail right, yeah, 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 and yeah. like the crappy tie. Right. And I'm like, "What are you?" He's like, "It's me, Donnie Burger." <laughs> and I'm like, he fully committed. Fully That's committed. Great. I was like, oh, uh, I can't believe you're doing this. It's so incredible. He's like, oh, am I embarrassing you, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at his knuckleheads getting married, everybody. And I was like, why was I worried about Sandler? <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of the weekend, people kept coming up to me being like, Sandler just sat at my table for like an hour and talked to me about my upstart business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so your best friend of 15 years is taking a backseat to the lobby, baby? Please don't call my son the lobby, baby. Where was he born? My apartment lobby. Sounds like a lobby baby to me. And the, the, that, I think he's not the only one. Like, you seem to have, in fact, I think I have a photograph here of these are. Oh, these yeah. Are, uh, the brother and sister team, Alex and Maya. Yeah, uh, the Super sexy Sibs. Sexy Sibs. Where, where, where are you guys? Is that an Oscar party? That's the Vanity Fair party. And they brought their medals, huh? Yeah, and they were like, hold this medal. We're taking a photo. And I was like, you got it, sexy Sibs. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's They're all good. right. They're Olympic athlete winning athletes from Olympics. Is yes. there anything you'd love to ask Neil that you, that you can ask him now? Oh, my goodness. Off the top of my head, I guess I would have three questions. Yeah. First, uh, are we alone in the universe? Second, uh, uh, is time travel possible? Third, if you have sex with a robot, does it count as cheating? 
Olympic athletes, Luke Skywalker himself, Mark Hamill, yeah. repeatedly tweets about how much he loves your show. Do you know Mark Hamill? I actually have met Mark Hamill. I mean, everyone on our show freaked out when he started doing that. I bet. Um, I met him because we produced this movie that Kyle Mooney and, and his buddies did called Brigsby Bear, and Mark Hamill was in it. Okay. And uh, I was in Salt Lake City sort of crossing paths right as Mark Hamill was coming in to shoot his stuff. Uh -huh. And we're like, oh, we should all go out and get beers and some food and just hang out and chat. And at first, you're like, oh, my God, it's Mark Hamill. But he's such a nice guy. We like went to this big bar. It was pretty empty. We went to the back and just had some beers and chatted. And after about five minutes, he's so sweet and disarming. You're just like, oh, that's me and Mark. Just hanging out, you know? Yeah. And then we were like, all right, well, good to meet you. And we got up to leave. And it was a little later in the night, and the bar had filled in a little. And as soon as we stepped like back into the main bar area, it was like, Luke! <laughs> Luke Skywalker! Luke, I'm your father! Luke! <laughs> Holy shit, it's Luke Skywalker! You're just like, oh my god, oh, this guy's life is a nightmare. <laughs> my turn. Seth, yes, Andy? Seth, I am sorry that I've been dressing up like you and going to fancy restaurants and causing mischief and mayhem. You're doing what? Causing mischief and mayhem under your name at five-star restaurants. How? Uh, well, I never pay. I half Nelson the maitre d', I full Nelson the chef, and if I see a full suckling pig, you know I'm gonna crawl up inside that bitch. Your daughter, I just find out, I just think of her as, because last time I was talking to you, she had just been born. She's yeah. a year old. Yeah. Now. Yes, I have a one-year-old daughter. How does it feel to have a one-year-old? <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, Life-changing, wonderful, beautiful experience. You yeah. know, I'm, I'm trying my best to not be like every other parent who acts when their child is first born, like they're the first person to ever have a kid and force photos of her on people when I see them. Yeah. Um, but that said, I thought I would show the first ever photo of her. <laughs> <laughs> So do you have any regrets at all? Yes. My one regret with Facebook is poking. Poking is creepy and lame, and <laughs> getting an email saying that your dad poked you is an enormous bummer, you know? I know that now, and for that, I apologize. It's good. I'm changed. You know, I don't know uh, if you noticed, but I suddenly was gripped with the urge to buy those Steph Curry nurse shoes. <laughs> so you I got them. Yeah. I went and got them. I was like, my dad instincts are kicking in. I got to rock these. <laughs> and then I got them. They arrived. I was like, you know what? I think I'm kind of making them work. I think they look cool. And then I was like, no, it's I'm a dad. I think they look good. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens. Yeah. I you went outside and a bunch of dads were like, yeah! <laughs> Not a photo yet. No. This is cool. This is the first ever photo of my daughter. There she is. <laughs> uh, are you sick of getting drunk and poking someone you shouldn't? Like a coworker or someone you met five minutes ago or your cousin? Well, I'm proud to now introduce a new feature called the slow poke. It's the only poke that takes 24 hours to reach the person you send it to. So you have a full day to sober up Realize you're an idiot and retract the poke. Interesting. I wanted to do something nuts, you know, where it's like, just to have it for safety in case it's our last episode, where it's like, we all move to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't in the, it was not in the budget. Here's one. Nick Kroll, Bill Hader, and Seth Rogen walk into a bar. They're there to pick me up because I'm an alcoholic who can't manage my feelings. Nailed you, fucker, <laughs> suck a butt. <laughs> Uh, is there a barista here? Because this roast just got dark. <laughs> Andy, why don't you I just want to say, this is so fun, man. <laughs> no, 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 so great to be here with you guys. I don't care who wins. I do. What? Yeah, we do. I do too. Okay, yeah, we, we care. Andy, you have to care who wins. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> who else? Who else wants the wrath? My good friend Aziz Ansari is here. Aziz's parents are from India and he's from South Carolina. Hey Aziz, what's it like to have a unique perspective on what it means to be American, you bag of shit? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. And then we got the baby now, so this year, I got home, I picked a single flower out of the neighbor's garden. <laughs> I walked in, I was like, happy anniversary. She's like, thanks, and then we both passed out on our faces. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been naked in public? Oh, thank you for asking. You're welcome. <laughs> Jonah Hill is here. Jonah is so dumb 
that when he had me over for a dinner party, I overstayed my welcome and he pretended to be tired so I would leave without getting my feelings hurt. You a passive aggressive sweetheart, Jonah! <laughs> Imagine you're at home and you're lying there and uh, you're on the floor yeah. and your wife's practicing her harp and you're just listening and we'll, we'll play a little oh. harp music. Yeah, it'll help put you in the mood. And I just want to see what it is you're like. <laughs> Why'd you take it there? Why'd you take it there? <laughs> no, 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 no. Have you in those little dinky gym shorts? Uh huh. And this girl, Tamika, uh, was behind me, and she pantsed me. Uh huh. In front of many kids. <laughs> oh no. And I don't remember this for sure, but I'm pretty sure I exclaimed, "My silk boxers!" <laughs> oh, wait, he didn't, Andy didn't answer it that. It doesn't. No one cares. No. I <laughs> care. I care. I care. Acrylage tip. <laughs> Expect letters, Comedy Central. If you don't want controversy, you shouldn't have invited the king. No, don't. I'm zenning out, Conan. <laughs> oh, you're not zenning. Hey, man, we're talking about my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you to tell me what I can and can't do to express myself spiritually? I didn't realize you were in favor of the travel ban, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. That was about that's good. That's you and I are the best singers here. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we could teach everyone here a little thing or two about singing. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> you crawl inside the pig? Yes, and then when they wheel that bad boy over to the table, I pop my hat out and I scream, there's a man inside your pig! <laughs> okay, but why do they think it's me? Oh, well, I do my patented Seth Meyers impersonation. Oh, hey guys, I'm <laughs> Seth Meyers. You know me from SNL, the movie New Year's Eve. Follow me on Twitter at politicstelevisionman.com slash Trump. Sure. Okay. That's the way to really connect with this crowd. And that is my wish. That is my wish. Always. Just show that you're a real person. Yes. And not just one of those jokesters. Fine. I'm no jokester. Here is a real picture. That's so nice. Here's it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, you did it. You yeah. really connected with the crowd. She's a chip off the old block. Think tank. Think tank. Can we keep these lobs? <laughs> These are ours, right, to keep. Cool. I'm gonna do uh, an erectile dysfunction ad. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> but that one's not because 40 is, is that old. It's just something I want to do as an acting challenge. <laughs> Why yeah. is that? Why do you consider it an acting challenge? Well, truth be told, they backed up the money truck. <laughs> you know, you're, getting, you're gonna get paid a lot of money yeah, to do an erectile. Yeah, buku bucks, and yeah. I was like, I gotta do it. Plus, my wang is super floppy, so it's a good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was. Yes, Andy. I'm sorry that I've been selling nude pictures of you on the internet. What? Yeah, man, I've sold hundreds of them. How did you get nude photos of me? Oh, I didn't say photos, I said pictures. I draw nude pictures of you <laughs> and sell them on the internet. The deal was I was gonna feed you information through the earpiece and you were gonna repeat me. Earpiece. Oh, right, you mean this. Yeah, I see the problem. It was in my pocket. <laughs> Technical difficulties, right? Yeah, dude, we call that user error. <laughs> Good one, Mark. <laughs> Start knocking things off my bucket list, I think. Oh, that's a good idea. A lot of people yeah. do that. What's, what's on your bucket list, for example? Uh, well, I only have two things at this point. For the, the first one is uh, I want to jack off on the roof of a building like Leonardo DiCaprio in Basketball Diaries. <laughs> Which, okay. I know what you're all thinking. Why haven't you done that already? <laughs> And the answer is, because I'm shy. <laughs> Andy, I gotta say, that doesn't look anything like me. Huh? Oh, right. This one's of me. <laughs> Pretty big hog, though, right? Yeah, I guess the crayon drawing you did of yourself does have a pretty big hog. Thank you. Okay, but here's one of you. Best thing about being a father so far? Um, thus far, I mean, she's still really young, but she has started just sitting there and like making fart noises <laughs> with her mouth, just like, <laughs> and then laughing really hard. And I was like, oh, well, I've taught her everything I know. <laughs> <laughs> And then the second thing, I, which I know you want me to say, because I set it up. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> I'll help you. Anyway. You you mentioned one of the two. <laughs> What's the second? Oh. I want to get swallowed whole by a sea monster, then explode out of one of its eyeballs and yell, Beowulf! <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, it's interesting, like, when your wife is pregnant and you're expecting, everyone's like, it's incredible. Get ready. It's magic. It's the most life-changing experience you'll ever have. Brace yourself for heaven. <laughs> and then, like, the second the baby comes, everyone's like, welcome to hell! <laughs> You fool! You're in a world.